Rina Sabalenka versus Karolina Mukova. It's the second semi-final for the Women's Cincinnati Open for 2023. And both have been very impressive to get to the semi-finals. Mukova entered the tournament, unseeded, and will take on a Daj Maya, the 12th seed in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win 6-7, 6-1, 6-4. In the second round, she'd take on Martic. And again, Mukova would have to fight in three, dropping the second set, but rallying in the third, 6-3, 3-6, 6-3. In the third round, she'd take on the number eight seed, Zachary, player that she'd beaten at the French Open a few months ago. And again, after dropping the second set, Mukova would have to win in three, 6-3, 2-6, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Mukova would take on fellow Czech Buzkova, who had had a nice run into the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, Buzkova was injured and would have to retire in the first set, with Mukova winning three love retirement to make the semifinals. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number two seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on the qualifier, Lee, and after dropping the second set, Sabalenka would fight back to win, 7-5, 2-6, 6-4. In the third round, she'd take on the 14 seed, Kazakina, who had been pretty decent on the courts the last couple of weeks. But there's no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-3, to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on the number five seed, Jabur, who she'd lost to at Wimbledon in the semifinals a couple of weeks ago. And after a close first set, Jabur would get injured in the second, with Sabalenka getting the win in the end, 7-5, 6-3, to advance to the semis. They still played twice before, with their most recent meeting being at the French Open in the semifinals back in June. And of course, we all remember that Sabalenka had match points in the final set at 5-2, but Mukova came back to win that one to make that French Open final. So Sabalenka will be looking for some revenge. If Mukova's going to win this one, she needs to hit the variety like she has. She comes to the net a lot as well. That's what she did so well in that French Open semifinal. Slice it up, come to the net, really mix it up against Sabalenka and frustrate her from the ground strokes as well. Sabalenka's going to win this one. It all comes down to serve. She's got to serve well in this, and she's also got to limit the errors. Now, she did serve okay against Jabur, but there was still a lot of double faults, and Jabur gave a lot back. So she's going to have to really serve well against Mukova and better than she did against Jabur. What a great matchup with a rematch of what we saw at the French Open. One of the matches of the year so far in that French Open semifinal, maybe for the, all the wrong reasons for Sabalenka, but it's going to be so fun. I'm going to go with Sabalenka in this one. I reckon she gets her revenge on these courts. I think the slower court suited Mukova back at the French Open, but the faster court here is going to suit Sabalenka, and she's going to get the win and get that revenge to make the final, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final.